Okay, Brian. Uh, this is an interesting team, and it reminds me of the, the axiom about you're returning X, you're returning six starters on a six six person sport, so you must be good. And it's just no, you're not unless those six people are improving and they had the potential to improve. It is certainly the case that this group went through the, the wars last year. No team I've ever uh, coached has had gone through anything like the team did last year, six consecutive five-set matches, and come out of it not only with their heads held high, but an improved team to the very end. And I wish we had won out. It would have been a, be a little bit nicer story to say we won our last four of four, but we actually lost uh, one of those final four matches. But they were uh, a team that last year showed this in, uh, incredible resilience. And what we've done over the past two weeks is see how much of the improvement that we realized in year one with, with sometimes starting five freshmen, but most of the time, I, actually I shouldn't say most of the time, but uh, mid-year I made a, uh, what I think is a significant change in hindsight by putting a junior on the floor, it, uh, despite the fact that her performance numbers in practice were a little bit less than one of the freshmen, and it really uh, helped us across the board. It, it kick-started our defensive system, and, uh, and essentially the first two weeks have been about running a variety of experiments. And that is to say, we try to say, for example, with respect to the setter position, it's, it was up in the air and still is to some degree, but the, what you do with volleyball is, is fairly easy uh, by keeping two sides the same and just create one variable, and that is switch the setters and see how the two sides do once that switch has been made. You've got a pretty, uh, a fairly highly valid experiment. And so that's what we're forced to do to, uh, based upon the, uh, what I would suggest is a lack of, of quality time to get the kids uh, oriented toward the best roles they could possibly play. But it is what it is, and everyone faces those same circumstances, so I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that. We've run the setter, the setter experiment. Importantly, we ran an outside hitter experiment and looked at using Jennifer Ketty, who was an all-freshman team. And if you noticed, if you looked at the uh, the box score from Saturday night, she was second in total kills, though her efficiency was low. Uh, she was second to Oluwa Lafe in total kills. Uh, D had 15 and Jennifer uh, a total of 12. Five as an outside hitter, or seven as an outside hitter and five as a middle. So what I did was Saturday night was the, for now, the end of that experiment, and we couldn't wait any longer because we've got Arizona Friday night, pick fin to finish fourth in the in the Pac-10. Uh, so we needed to figure out where does Jen Ketty best serve us, no pun intended, here uh, with the first week of competition staring us in the face, and. Uh, along with that, I could say five, give you five different experiments, but I'd bore you with them. The details, the where is the libero best play, left back or middle back, and it's about personnel, and it's about first who, and, and then where, and and then how. Uh, the how is is pretty much determined by the who, and um, and there you have it. Coach Ace, I guess I'll start. <clears throat> Have you determined your starting lineup yet? With opener no. just a couple of days away, and and as far as so that's a no. No, that that correct. That is a no. 
we're we're very close, Andrew, and uh, we've told the girls that Saturday night would be a cutoff for travel, who would travel. And now we have a good idea, but still we want them to be competing. And certainly with the fact that Jen Ketty was moved from outside hitter, where she's practiced for the first two weeks, back into the middle where she had no practice reps whatsoever. That's up in the air. She has to win that. She has to win that position or not over the next, we'll have a total of five practices between now and the time we head down to, to LA and then ultimately to South Bend. Do you feel at this point, heading into the opener, there's more questions this season than last season? And if so, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Far less questions. We know, we know a lot more about our personnel. And, and given a year of working with them, we know how they'll react. But at the same time, there's still a remarkable number of 18-year-olds in there who will grow and they'll change their perception of what they can do and what, they're, what they don't like and what they like and what they're capable of doing and what they can lend to the team. So um, well, last year when we, have, <laughs> when we have six freshmen coming in who potentially all six could have been starters, you know, you've got questions galore. And uh, in hindsight, if I could change things, I would put a little more stability in lieu of talent, incoming talent, because uh, because college vol division one, high level division one volleyball, which is really all that's all we uh, schedule. We don't have any powder puff matches, and uh, they're going to need to play at a high level from the get go. I really feel like I know a lot more about this team. We learned so much about the, our, ourselves, the coaching staff did as well, uh, going through those difficult times. But at the end of the, the season last year, it was a promising end that led into this fall. And the, this will be, we have 21 workouts total. So this will be the 18th or the, excuse me, the 19th, 18th workout total. Uh, and we just know a lot more about what they're capable of doing. There's just a few things that need to be resolved over the last few practices. And then we go into the non-conference component, which is serves a, it's really important that we win, but it's also a chance for us to further define roles. And, uh, and answer more questions as we go. That's what a team's, you know, it, they say it's in the, it's in the pursuit. Uh, and I truly believe that as we go along this year, it'll be a very interesting time with a, with a great group that seem to have a very high level of, of buy-in to what we're doing and they, one difference, significant difference, is uh, in terms of knowing, is the leadership factor, and I, I don't think it's even close to any of the past five years. In terms of knowing who is going to be uh, fill, fulfill the leadership roles, we have two seniors. Uh, Dominique Olavalafe and, and Allison Mort, uh, and they're clearly ready to take the the leadership role to step up and to maybe get in someone's face when they need to and keep them in line. And I, but all the while, that this group has been very productive in their work and uh, very together in their their uh, camaraderie. The generally a happy team.
which is always nice.